All right. Well, it's time. I guess we should move on to the discussion of the week. Uh, we've been delaying it for so long because we have such a quick answer. Here we go. Sounder time. <laughs> What's a drena anyhow? Can I drink it? Discussion of the week. That's right. It's time for discussion of the week. And we're going to be discussing a question presented to us by Britza. <clears throat> And so I want I want everybody to bring in the harmonies as I sing the answer to this question. So ha- have two player <laughs> ha- have two player heroes like Cho'Gal worked in Heroes of the Storm. Would a two player hero work in Overwatch? All right, everybody, join me. Hell no. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I put a lot of oh, thought into boy. these questions, starting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that was the a, wrong thought. That, apparently, okay. that, that was okay. a very abrupt answer, of course. But that was my immediate thought process: like that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you pro- you probably have a fair point. But where I got this from was from all this talk about Effie, and there, there was a lot of when she was announced, everyone was like, "Oh my god!" You know, Catherine was right. The twenty fourth hero is going to be this little girl, and then everyone pointed out, "No, it's not going to be because." It's a T for Teen game, and you can't shoot eleven-year-old girls in T for Teen games. <laughs> so Effie wouldn't be part of this, and that—that's right. But I thought, well, hang on a second. They've got a really interesting character here. What could they do to, you know, the, the issue is about her being a target in the game. So I started thinking, well, you know, maybe she's linked to uh, Omnics and things like that. And I thought, well, what if you were playing an Omnic character and you were getting like Effie was in your ear a bit like a sort of master chief cortana situation and then i thought well hang on they tried two player characters like shogal in heroes would a two player hero work in overwatch and i I think to an extent it could in the you know well actually i don't know how it would work but the the way you describe that the way you describe that actually had me my thoughts going completely differently in something that might work so not necessarily a two player hero but what if effie worked something like abathur in, and that's exactly what I was going to get onto because um, Abatha just buffs. Yeah. And what if Effie could just Effie buff never leaves the spawn devices? What if Effie never leaves? Yeah. She's actually there, a little girl, but she just she controls a little drone from the control room, and that drone can then like buff players, can sit on their heads like an Abby hat, um, give that player different buffs and debuffs, be able to shoot from atop this person's or from on their back, do abilities like that. I mean, in fairness, that's not a two-player hero, no. and I've kind so, of like, shot when, myself when, in the foot a bit. When, when, you, when you said two-player hero, my thought was like like a super bastion where someone's driving him, and then the other person's like controlling the turrets <laughs> and the guns on him. So well, it, it could be that you you have you it, it's so much like Shogo in that uh, if one player chooses Effie, another player has to be this. But the, I guess the problem would be around how character selection in overwatch works because if one player died and they change character does that kick the other character it, it, it out kick the other player off i think yeah exactly so i i don't think that would work and, and the more i think about it yeah it does become a very intricate problem but i just i wonder whether the idea of having a central character controlled by two players like what if we, uh, was it Ancora we were talking about mm-hmm what if you know one of the one of the images i think i don't know if that was from dice is that she's shooting her laser beam on her spider legs but there's also all these drones and spider drones that are sort of coming off and i wonder like what if one player controlled the drones and one player controlled (laughs) the movement or what how would that work it's interesting but i just i still feel like it fundamentally doesn't work i mean i i barely think it works for heroes of the storm honestly it causes a lot of confusion and frustration um but with a first person game like overwatch i just think it would be way too chaotic um way too tough to actually control Again, uh, what do you guys think? The big voodoo or Zool? I, I'm with you. I don't think it would work out, really. Um, trying to have two people control one and just then having a smaller team size because of that and everything. I mean, people get salty with each other already. Can you imagine the things people would be yelling mm-hmm. at each other? <laughs> <laughs> be bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't think a Chogall would work. I really don't. But someone like Abathur, potentially, um, it would reduce your kind of map presence, I guess, Mm -hmm. because there's only five of you instead of six, essentially. Um, But Abathur does the same thing in a 
game that map presence is probably much more important on. Mm. So I, I think it could work for Overwatch. Um, and even if it's just like buffs and maybe like has the ability to set up traps in different spots, like a very... Do you guys remember the Fable game that was supposed to come out that never did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. someone played as the Mastermind? Mm -hmm. Effie is the Mastermind. You get a top-down view of the map, and you're able to set traps and do stuff like that from her. Buff your allies, you know. I feel like, like having that. a top-down view of the map would be a little overpowered. It could be. It really could be. But, but it would you also... Know, you see... Go on, sorry. Go on, be ready. It would also solve the problem of, you know, your lowered map presence. Yes, you have less map presence because there's only five of you, but you have near perfect information because of it, as long as that information is being shared well by your teammate. It, it would, Which it, it won't be. It, it, it would completely destroy sneak attacks, though. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, they're coming in this way. They're coming in that way. They're Like, I don't know. I feel like that. It's a good idea, I just feel like it'd be too powerful. I don't think Blizzard would do it. It would change the meta, yes. And characters like Tracer and Reaper would be Sombra. countered then, and Sombra would be countered by Effie. Hmm. But it wouldn't I, do anything I, I, I really Reinhardt, like it. I right? just, no, that's true. I, I really like this idea. It just seems so... I guess you, there, there's a lot of buildings and a lot of stuff that could still hide play. It's not like you'd be able to see through buildings unless you had a, a Widowmaker combo. Oh, that would make Widowmaker's ult also very much more useful combined with Effie. Okay. I it like would change it. the meta. It, it would. But I think it's viable. And a Mastermind style character, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of interesting to play. Yeah. Hmm. I, and, uh, yeah, I think we've stepped away from the two-player. I think that's probably... Well, because we had an answer <laughs> immediately to the question. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> and you know what? That's fair enough. I'm, I don't think we need one. Um, I think it's just interesting that, like you said, it, it, they, they tried it and it hasn't really gone anywhere. They haven't thought, this is a great idea. Players want two-player heroes. You control but, his arms, I'll control his legs. Let's see how this works. Like, uh, but it is, it is fun. <laughs> I've played it. I played it with Dracas when we were getting the mount, and it, it was fun. But like you say, in a in a competitive game, you know, it it becomes a bit more of a challenge mm -hmm. challenging situation. I imagine. Um. So, Chogall is still used in competitive heroes on occasion. It's not common. He's not meta, but people will use him. Chogall works. He's not great. He's not terrible. He just is Chogall. Um, but I think the problem is that a lot of the benefits that he has don't really make up for the lack of map presence, which is why Chogall just doesn't really work um, in Heroes. And I'm pretty sure for Overwatch, two-player Heroes just becomes far more complex than Heroes itself. So it doesn't work there. But another two-player hero in Heroes might happen, and I wouldn't be terribly upset about it. So yes, and no. <laughs> Mostly yes, and no. no. <laughs> well, hell no, and then maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, okay, a complete spin it. Do you think, though, that that's Effie would actually ever get into the game, or do you think no, that's it, that she, she's just a a character in the the story and that's that's all she's gonna be i well like you said it's a t-rated game you can't kill 11 year olds in t-rated games yeah um, gets a little iffy there uh, yeah but who's the who's the little pandaren who goes around with chen in pandaria that, that's right you can Lili. kill lily she's and how old is lily like nine she's a bear yeah, well oh, get that. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? She's a bear. I can splatter her corpse halfway across the map. And I can, tell you, I can tell you from experience, Lily is also one of my followers in, as a monk, and I have her as like my companion out in the world. She pops up and heals me all the time, but she's so annoying. I want to kill Lily every single day. So, um, 
I would have no problem killing an 11 year old panda, but killing an 11 year old girl, that, that is, there's a difference. Okay. I, and so I don't want like, people to start popping up everywhere with panda lives matter signs. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, they do, but, you know, this is a video game panda. Okay. There's loads Pandaren. of forum posts here. And one says that she's possibly 15 years old. So that's, that's, there's a question mark there over, you know. She could is, also is be really... 70 years old because the, the post, like her initial like interview was posted in 2017 as the date. And Overwatch is like 70 years True. in well, the future. Um, so one of them specifically came out and said that that interview is modern day Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, so. Yeah. Never mind. Um, I forget where, but one of them did say that. So Effie really is 11 years old. Okay. So we can't kill yeah. her. What if she's just invincible? <laughs> God, no. <laughs> she can't do anything, but you can't kill her. She just runs around and she can emote at everybody. I think Boop. we should go back to the idea of a, a playable mission where Effie goes round and punches you into walls and <laughs> talks you down in the voice of Terry Crews. Okay. <laughs> So for the final tinfoil hat theory, what if Effie is Doomfist? Effie takes the fist and it's just like, blah! (laughs) (laughs) I just want to see, so you have this little like 11 year old run up to you and then just (laughs) right in your face. And she sounds like Terry Crews. Because of the Doom Fist. And then when she takes off the Doom Fist, like for victory poses or emotes, they have a different voice actor do her actual voice. <laughs> but the Doom I... Fist on makes her voice change. Well, maybe that's it. You know, we we said, we were wondering whether Terry Crews was going to play Doom Fist, i.e., the character. What if he's voicing the Doom Fist? Well, it's <laughs> <come sentient. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The 24th like hero Syria, is not Spider-Man. who you think it is. That was, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like That'd it. That'd be so funny. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> I think we can end on that high note right there. What, what do you guys think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That, that was a good one to end on. Thank you 